as we enter the new year, we are excited, but at the same time, we are nervous. Why? Because the way technology is evolving, the way the IT industry is evolving, we don't know where we are heading as far as our careers are concerned. But rest assured that in this video, we'll talk about nine careers which will be safe, which will be booming and which will be in demand, not only in this particular year, the next year, but for the next decade. So let's understand these nine careers. I have tried dividing it into five different domains. So based on your skill set, you can target a specific domain. And at the end, we'll talk about this nine specific role, which is a non-technical role, but a very effective role if you are not from a technical background. So stay till the end and we'll quickly cover all these nine roles. Without further ado, let's get started. The very first domain is data domain and under data domain, the very first set of roles are of data analyst and data scientist. As data is becoming more and more vital in the age of AI, you will need data analyst, you will need data scientist, which will help businesses draw useful insights from their data. And that's why people who are working in this domain or who wants to try to get into this domain need to learn skills like R, Python, Tableau, Power BI, all those kind of skills. In this video, we are not talking about specific skills uh, you need to learn. But if you want that, let me know and we can make a follow up video on the same. So the very, very first set of role is of a data analyst and data scientist. The second is data engineers because data engineer will fo form the backbone on which this whole analysis will take place because you will need the raw data to be stored, to be you know processed to a certain standard before data scientist or data analyst could consume it. And that's why you will need data engineers who could develop those kind of uh, ETL or ELT pipeline, taking the data from the source and putting it into your data lakes or data warehouses or data mesh. We have talked about all these concepts in detail uh, on our channel. So you can watch our playlist or watch those videos where we have talked about data warehouse, data lakes, uh, data mesh, everything. The next domain I have thought of is of cloud as well as DevOps. So it's a combined domain, I think, would be in demand. And the first set of roles here are of cloud engineers, cloud architects and cloud admins because cloud is here right now and it is already matured. And based on that, all the new AI technologies, everything which is happening today is on the bedrock on the basis of cloud infrastructure. So be it Google Cloud, Azure, AWS, you can enter any particular cloud and start your journey in these particular roles. And every role is different from each other. Uh, as an engineer, you will maintain the cloud infrastructure. You will ensure that everything is up and running, you're monitoring everything. So we are not going into the detail because it will be a, I can make a specific video for every role which we are talking about. But just to give you an overview, engineers will make sure cloud is up and running. Uh, architects will make sure that whatever we are doing is scalable you know, it's functional, it's reliable, secure. They will design those kind of solutions and administrators will administer the whole platform, identity and access management like, uh, like that, okay? So all those kind of things will come under admin. But what if you are completely new, like you have heard about cloud, you have seen cloud here and there, but you don't know how to start. If you're someone who wants to up their game, wants to get into a cloud uh, career, then do check out. It is a 12 plus hours of comprehensive a course where we have covered all the basics of cloud computing as well as AWS with all the core modules covered. So do check out the link in the pinned comment and in the description. Moving on DevOps engineers, everything which we are doing right now is agile. Everything which we are doing right now is, you know, is something where we need to deploy quickly. We need to deploy uh, in a reliable and secure manner. And for that, you have your CI CD pipelines. You have your DevOps pipelines. And while the developers will be busy developing the code as a DevOps engineer, it will be your responsibility to make sure that your CI CD pipelines are up and running. So if you are someone who is good with DevOps, I think you should you know, up your game and you should become maybe a DevOps architect. I have not covered that, but that could be your next uh, career progression if you are already a DevOps engineer. And if you are not, then there is a full fledged uh, learning journey around six months, which you will uh, take to become a full fledged DevOps engineer. So a very good area to target. The third domain is a very important domain, guys, because it is security. Security, as you know, is becoming more and more important. So the career, which is very prominent right now, which is very high paying, 
career is of a cyber, cyber security specialist or we can say cyber security consultant a very good certification in this area is CISSP we have talked about a cyber security career roadmap in one of our videos so you can check that the other one is of identity and access management specialist so while we can do some of IM activity as a cloud admin now it has it is becoming more of an individual role in itself which you need to fulfill if you want to ensure that you have a tap on who is accessing what on the cloud environment or, or on any environment you are using. So that's why identity and access management is very important. So the next one is AI and it is booming and it will be booming for not only next year, this year, next year, it is going to be next decades. So first I think would be of generative AI, you know, uh, you need to understand how lang chains are working, how we can build our own LLM models on the base models, which, uh, you know, which these uh, big companies like Google, uh, Meta, OpenAI, all these uh, different big companies are providing their LLM models and a lot of companies needs generative AI developers who could build uh, custom models based on those base LLM models. So generative AI, a very interesting field coming up, especially when you want to generate new content, new images, you need to create your chatbot applications. So it's one of the one of the most booming things which has happened in the last two years or so. So a very good area, but you cannot directly start with generative AI. And that's why the next is of ML engineer. Okay, so ML engineer, AI ML engineer, machine learning engineer is a more advanced role. You need more time to get into a machine learning engineer because you need to understand how you will uh, develop and train your machine learning models. You need to understand algebra. You need to understand statistics to, to some extent. So if you are already uh, working in machine learning area, then this uh, transition to generative AI would be much smoother, much easier. But if you are not coming from that background, then also you can understand that generative AI is a low hanging fruit and you can enter it. But eventually you have to understand the fundamentals of machine learning and data science. So generative AI uh, developers and machine learning engineers uh, uh, will come under artificial intelligence domain. And the final domain which we now have, and uh, this is kind of a non-technical managerial role. So that's why I will put it under management. Management, I would say strategy. So under management and strategy uh, are uh, one of the role which you could target is of, I think you have guessed it right, of a product manager, okay? Because whatever we will be doing in all these areas, okay? We will either be building a product or we'll be helping someone build a product. Okay. So in all those areas, which we have discussed, there will be a place for a product manager, a technical product manager, a growth product manager, which will help in growing the product. So a product manager is a very good role. If you want to get in, into a role where you want to understand how a product roadmap, how a product vision will go for a particular product line. Okay. If you come from a master's background, MBA background, if you are not that technical or you are technical, but you want to uh, building products, good products, then this role is a very good role. It gets paid very handsomely in the market. And uh, a lot of people today wants to crack into a product manager role and you will always have these roles in plenty in the market. But the caveat here, which I would want to uh, give you is that uh, you cannot be a product manager if you don't know the product. Okay. So for example, I make YouTube videos, right? And I've been making it for the last five years. So every video which I put out is a product in itself. It's a digital product which I build. Every time I, uh, I plan a video, it starts from research. Then it goes into ideation, scripting, filming, post-production, marketing, everything, right? So it's a complete product life cycle which you have to go through. I'm just giving an example. I'm not saying I'm a product manager, but what I'm saying is you need to understand the product in order to become a successful product manager. So if you want to become a product manager of a company which is building a generative AI model on top of Llama, which is Meta's open source LLM model, you are building something on top of it, or maybe a chatbot solution. Then you need to understand how Langchain works, 
how hugging face uh, you could use all those different modules how these uh, you know different technologies come together how apis could connect to each other you should have basic understanding of that and along with that that's your technology but along with that you need to understand how the market forces are working what is your competitive ad advantage where you will be positioning your product into the market where how you will be pitching or selling this to your stakeholders to your external customers so a product manager is kind of that person who's a mixed bag of business uh, strategy technology if you make a pie uh, it would be the intersection if you make these different circles it would be right at the center of all these things so a very important role i find it very interesting guys uh, any any product manager give me a shout uh, let us know in the comment uh, what you would want to add into this. I've, uh, I've kind of covered everything in this video now. But again, if you have all different kind of roles where you are working, I know these are not comprehensive roles. I felt these will be in demand, but there are other roles as well, which will continue to be in demand. So in the comments, let me know what roles you are targeting for the coming year, for the coming decades. And if you can share some learning resources where to learn these technologies from so that we can learn as a whole in this particular ITK Funday community. So uh, friends, if you have watched this far, thank you so much for your patience. And now your next step could be to watch my videos where I have talked about specific roadmaps, for example, for cybersecurity, for DevOps, I have, we have talked about data engineers and data analysts. So I will pin those videos or I'll link those videos somewhere here. And you should just go and check those out to get into the grip of how you would, you could expand your career in one of these domains. So guys, I would like to say something different this time. And it is that we are all learning together. We are all sharing together. And most importantly, we are all hustling together. So no one is alone. We are working towards a common goal of growing together. I wish you all the best and see you in the other video. Bye for now.